Make as much money as you can, as quickly as possible. Chaplin's view of capitalism portrayed in the 1936 comedy Modern Times still holds true today. But there are also forces pulling in the other direction. Zurich has a new cinema, the Houdini, at the tram depot in Kalbreiter. It's a meeting place for film buffs. Even obscure films can fill the place. It's named after the escapologist Harry Houdini. Houdini was an illusionist, and you can see how a multiplex has been conjured from a miniplex. In other words, these rooms are not so big, but they're very comfortable to sit in and watch films in. The cinema was financed by the Alternative Bank Switzerland, which seeks alternatives to so-called turbo-capitalism. Some believe turbo-capitalism lacks the brakes and counterweights to make the system balanced. ABS supports small social, ecological or cultural projects. From the very beginning, we thought it was a good thing that the Houdini cinema's film choices were not made for purely commercial reasons. In the mix, they tried to include art house or studio films that don't appeal to the masses, but rather to the more discerning public. Neither the bank nor the cinema's shareholders are expecting to make huge profits. Our story began in 1998, when there wasn't so much talk about social financing. The ABS was one of the only banks that wasn't fixated on making money, but instead focused on cultural sustainability, environmental protection and social projects. The ABS founders were inspired by Mohammed Yunus and his Grameen Bank in Bangladesh. That bank gives microcredits without guarantees to poor entrepreneurs and farmers in a bid to address poverty and promote social development. Mohammed Yunus received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006. He called for Western industries to also become socially engaged. ABS took up the call, and these are some of the projects it backed. The Swiss label Remi, which produces fair trade organic cotton. A company that collects seeds from old indigenous plants to guarantee biodiversity in Switzerland. A tiny hydroelectric power station in Souche and the Kurhaus or Spa House in Begun, which had to be renovated. But what do all these have in common? The common theme is providing access to capital for projects that are relevant for society. In Bangladesh, the contributions were small, but it was about creating independence. Here, they're bigger. But the basic theme is access to the capital market for forward-looking projects that have not yet been set up. This can also mean investing in culturally important buildings like the Kurhaus Begun. This Art Nouveau spa hotel, which is fairly unique in Switzerland, was lovingly restored to its former glory. At the end of the 19th century, there was a hotel boom in Switzerland, and there were hundreds of lovely Art Nouveau buildings like this. Now things are different. We only have a handful of such buildings in Switzerland being used as hotels. The Kurhaus hosts plays and concerts and is considered an integral part of Begun's cultural offering. A new era has begun here, which contrasts sharply with the more, more, more mentality portrayed in Chaplin's film.